This video tutorial will aim to explain how we calculate area in mathematics. So what is area? Well, Area can be defined as the amount of two-dimensional space taken up by a shape or place. Depending upon the size of the space, area can be measured in centimetres squared, metres squared, kilometres squared and so on. We introduce the notion of area to children in the lower juniors as counting squares to determine how much space is covered. In this case, the shape covers an area of 12 squares. If each square was a 1 centimetre in length on each side, then we would say that the total area of the shape is 12 centimetres squared. The little number 2 here represents a centimetre squared, which means centimetre times centimetre. So to calculate the area of shape A, we could count 5 squares down and 5 squares across and use our knowledge of times tables to fill the rest. Knowing that 5 rows of 5, 5 lots of 5 is 25 using knowledge of times tables. So the area covered by shape A would be 25 centimetres squared. For shape B, we could split the shape into two parts, as shown here, or as shown here. Uh, but we'll come on to that a little later. If we count each square individually, 36 centimetres squared. A little more complicated for shape C because we have these half squares along the diagonal line of the triangle. So we'd need to count each individual square that is whole first, which is 21 centimetres squ squared. Then we add each pair of half squares together, one pair, two pairs, three pairs, and another half, so we'd add an additional 3.5 centimetres squared to make a combined total of 24.5 centimetres squared for the area of the triangle. So once pupils are fully confident with calculating area by counting squares, we'd move on in the upper juniors to calculating area using the formula area equals length multiplied by width for calculating the area of a rectangle. So in this example, we have 5 centimetres multiplied by 11 centimetres, the length and the width of the rectangle to give out a total area of 55 centimetres squared. In this example we have what we would describe as a compound shape, as we have these two conjoined rectangles, and we'll need to work out the area of two separate sections and combine them together. So if I split the rectangles as indicated by the dotted line there, I can now use the formula area equals length times width to calculate the area of this bottom rectangle. So I have a length of 10 centimetres and a width of 2 centimetres. 10 centimetres multiplied by 2 centimetres equals 20 centimetres squared. To help me organise my calculations, I'm going to label the rectangles rectangle A. So that was the area for rectangle A. And now we're going to work out the area of rectangle B before we add them both together. So to work out the area of rectangle B, we first need to find the length. Now it's 9 centimetres to the bottom. We only want to go as far as our dotted line. So we have to subtract 2 centimetres from there to there, away from the 9. So the length is 7 centimetres, and the width, we 
we're going to need to subtract 6 from 10, which gives us a length of 4 centimetres. So we can again use the formula area equals length times width to multiply 7 centimetres by 4 centimetres, the length and width of rectangle B, to give us 28 centimetres squared. And now we need to add together our two sections, 20 and 28 which gives us a total area of 48 centimetres squared. Being able to calculate area is a very important life skill. It can be used in decorating, for example, laying carpets and needing to know the amount of space in a room, or for gardening, needing to know how much turf to lay in a garden, for example, we have to measure the garden in sections, as we did in the previous example. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for listening.